it's just reading. And if you have lots of tablets to work on, like on a dig, it's be very exciting if they come out of the ground and no one's looked for them before. You know, it's your job. And if you're a competent Assyriologist, you should be able to sight read more or less, except most, say a letter or something like that, but most documents have some damage. So you have to learn how to inter interpret stuff. And also some literature is very difficult because of technical vocabulary and they had technical vocabulary and unusual words. So you can do all of that. You can kind of uh, figure out the technical complexities. You can sure. figure out the the noise, meaning missing pieces. Yeah, sometimes you can calculate to what it ought to be, make a reasonable yeah. suggestion. And in this dictionary, which I was talking to you about, is such a fantastic tool because a lot of people worked on it. For, it was the National Endowment for the Humanities, and it was for decades and decades of work. And most of the world's best Assyriologists collaborated on it. So the quality of translation and understanding is really extraordinary.